Hey y'all, welcome back to Hey Mom, What's for Dinner? And instead of showing you a recipe today, I'm gonna take you to the grocery store. It's Sunday and I typically do my grocery shopping on Sundays to get ready for the week, but it's summer, so I need some extra snacks and fruit because my kids are grazing all day long. But here's the thing, I'm going to H-E-B. H-E-B is a grocery store chain in Texas that's very popular, but I also read in the news that the H-E-B Foundation has donated $10 million to the Uvalde School District, so they're going to be building a new Robb Elementary School. So I wanted to show them some love and buy all things H-E-B. So come along with me for my grocery haul. I usually like to go grocery shopping alone, but today I'm bringing the kids along. Okay, we're here at H-E-B and I'm gonna give them their grocery shopping list. You can see here it has each item. And they've got each a couple of sheets. So I'm gonna hand this one to you, Cole. And this one to you girls. And then I'll have one of my own. And then we will divide and conquer. My son is in high school and then soon off to college. And I really need him to learn this life skill and that's grocery shopping and how to budget. So what I did was on the HEB app, I actually did online grocery shopping where it broke down everything by category and how much it was. And then I printed off those sheets. And the kids have that in their hands as they go down the aisles. The online shopping app said that these were out of stock. Well, here they are, so I'm grabbing them. My picky eater actually loves carrots with ranch, so I always have to have these on hand. The tricky thing about avocados is you have to keep in mind of when you're actually going to use them. If you're not using them for a couple of days, then you don't want one that's too ripe. And just gently press on it with your thumb to see if how ripe it is. I love H-E-B's seafood counter. It has such a variety. I plan on making salmon sushi bowls, so I'm gonna splurge a little bit and get these that are already pre-portioned. Tonight I plan on making an Italian pasta salad and this olive bar is perfect because I can portion out just the right amount that I need. Hatch green chili. Oh. That one or the regular rotisserie? Let's go with crackers. Okay, put it in there. And then of course, I've gotta make a stop at the tortilla factory. Inside H-E-B, they make these tortillas fresh from scratch and they're nice and warm and I can't pass it up because I'm always making breakfast tacos. Another ingredient that goes inside my pasta salad, these mozzarella pearls and pepperoni. There are plenty of pepperonis in here that I can actually use it for a lunch item. This all-purpose baking mix is the best pancake mix, and I can use it for a cobbler, too. This butter pecan ice cream will go perfect for the ice cream sundaes I'm doing in these waffle cone bowls. Okay, it's time to check out. Let's meet up with the girls and it looks like they found everything. Okay, so how was the experience? Fun. Good. Did you learn a lot? All right, let's go home. My goal was to teach them the value of a dollar and how much food actually costs. I wanted them to learn that it actually takes some thought into grocery shopping and how it's important to plan out your week if you're on a budget. Food doesn't just magically appear in the fridge and pantry. It actually takes some effort. Here's a mom tip. This experiment is more for your teenager, but if you have small kids, they can still help with the shopping list. And there it all is, about $175 worth of food for the week for a family of five. Everything you see here has the H-E-B logo on it, meaning it is their brand. With the exception of just a few items. I love H-E-B products because they use 
quality ingredients, and everything's made and produced and manufactured right here in Texas. I like the kids to have a variety of breakfast options when they wake up. Oh, and Nana's birthday is on Thursday, so Mia's gonna make a cake. I've got plenty of produce to last us for the week. The kids love to graze on fruit and cheese and nuts and pretzels, so hopefully this will hold them over until next shopping trip. Oh, I have a great idea for these English muffins. They're gonna make their own personal little mini pizzas with this pizza sauce and the mozzarella cheese and whatever leftover pepperoni I have after I use it for the pasta salad tonight. My plan is to get four dinners out of all of this and four breakfasts and four lunches, plus leftovers and a couple of really awesome desserts. And now it's time to put it all away. And yes, I'll definitely have the kids help me do this as well. So thanks so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time on Hey Mom, What's for Dinner?